Leave it alone. It'll come out when it's ready. You said the two fear will come if I get out. Then she will do when it's ready to fall out. Okay? Joe, I told you not to play with it. Let's have a look at it. Mm, looks okay. Bring it with you. It's bedtime now. Hello? I've come to call you. Sorry? I work for a children's charity. We're a very good cause. I'm, I'm sorry, we're not, we're not interested. I come all this way. Would you just open up? It's awfully cold outside. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't spare anything right now. You're not interested in children. No, it's like I said, I can't spare anything right now. I'm, I'm just going to bed. I come all this way. Yes, like you said. But I can't. I haven't got anything to give. I'm sorry. Thank you for your interest. I'm going now. Why? Oh. Look, like I've said, why don't you go and ask someone else? There's not another house in miles. Open up and let me in. I need to call for a lift. Good night. Is that nice little girl there? No, there's no children here. Such pretty teeth. 
And I want you to ring the police and I want you to I want you to tell them that mummy's asked you to ring them to come really quickly. Okay, go. Go. Wait for me upstairs. I'm in the bedroom, please hurry. Such a pretty tooth. Pretty little tooth. Or a pretty little girl. You have such better teeth than last little girl. Hello. Hello. Trying to get out of work. Only so that I don't have to see you. Obviously. Ah, uh, thanks. So, what actually happened? I heard that you knackered your ankle playing something. Yeah. Badminton. Wow. Um, I thought you were supposed to hold the racket with your hand, Sammy. <laughs> anyway, you can be the one that looks after the kids when we all go out in the evening. Oh, lucky me. <laughs> So, how many of us are coming now? Um, five. You, me, Jeff, Kim and Ellen? 
for a few kids. Well, everybody wants to come, so I passed it off as future development. And because the kids are special, they always don't need to have in hand. Sure, that's the best way to look at it. Well, right then. <laughs> Shall we? Let's go. Breaking news. Reports are coming in from the Kendall area that a recent traffic accident on the A6 resulted in several of the patients escaping from a nearby mental facility. The patients are said to have been staying in a high secure unit. Stay tuned for more updates as we... Ugh. Don't want to be hearing that again, thanks. What was that? Oh, I just the usual lunatic running around the area. Well, that's hardly news. Damn right. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, I wondered when you were gonna show up. I've got the walking wounded in me, haven't I? Hey, are you alright? Yeah, good. Oh, oh. Sorry, just getting used to the stakes here. Yeah, are you sure you're gonna be okay? Because we've actually got a lot of walking to do. Yeah, I'm good, honestly. It's just a little slip and badminton. It's getting better. Mm-hmm. So, who's having what room then? Uh, we haven't decided yet, so throw your stuff anywhere you like. Oh, nice one. Through that, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Jesse, Jay, Jenny, Joanna. No dawdling, please. Right, guys, we've got a lot to get through. So you are going to be following myself and Mr. Tillman, and we are going to be going to the historic forest where the settlers first arrived. It's so dark. Okay, well that is why we have lanterns, okay? Yeah, and Jesse, how many times have I told you, do up your jacket? Okay. That's mine, thank you. So shall we go? And some enthusiasm, guys. I mean, come on. There are literally hundreds of children who are desperate to come on this trip. Of course there were. Okay, right, guys. Let's get going this way. Come on, guys. Go, go on, go on. Okay, guys, follow Mr. Tillman. Wait a minute. Me, me. We don't have time. Okay, come on. Hey, 
Can I help you with anything? Have you finished unpacking already? No. The others are going to be gone for a while, so I thought I'd help the lady in need. That's the difference with you guys, isn't it? Leaving everything to the last second. Huh. Hey, if you had all my services, then I'll just go and help Ellen. You can help me if you really want to. No, no, it's OK. I know when I'm not wanted in your room. Okay, um, so we have a historical forest today, an old mill tomorrow, and probably we will do a river tour after that, so it's all in the same area. Okay, so just put me down for anything that's got nothing to do with interacting with the locals. I know what they're like around here. Hey! Just going over everything for the weekend. Ooh, great! Neil's already volunteered you to look after the kids when we go to the pub. Oh, has he now? I think you volunteered yourself. No, you volunteered me. How dare you, I did not. <laughs> Come on, Sammy. We can all end up legless. Oh, 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 she's got you there. <laughs> Here we are. I was really hoping we weren't going to be back this late. Well, if there was a signal around here, then I would have been able to track where we were. Well, at least we explored the land you said the settlers lived on. Yeah. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. I guess I'm just not used to walking in this. Well, that's what happens when you're stuck behind a desk for five years. <laughs> just imagine what it's like being stuck for 30. You must have seen some good ones on your walk. Well, landmarks? <laughs> no, pubs. Oh, yeah. There was the black cock that we passed on the way here. That looked quite good from the outside. Hey, as long as there's booze, you can take me anywhere. OK, M Mrs Norman, Jesse was just a bit startled earlier, OK? There's, there's nothing to worry about. He's fine now. OK, goodbye. Bye. Hey, what's happened? Uh, Jessie thought she saw someone watching us in the woods. What? That's the problem. These kids have never been out of the city. They're scared of everything out here. So what's the crack then? We all tucked up now? They are, and we thought that now might be a good time to try some local tipple. <laughs> well guys, you know that if we are going to go to a pub, then someone is going to have to stay here with the children. I'm happy to. <laughs> oh, Sammy, come on. I was only joking before. Come on, it's fine. Honestly, I'm pretty knackered now anyways. I'd rather stay. You go out, have fun, let your hair down. Why don't I stay with you, keep you company? Honestly, stop worrying. You're gonna be asleep, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, if she's sure, then why not? Okay. Oh. Yeah, Long happy call. to help. Come on. <laughs> Right, and you will call us if you need us, right? Of course. Of course. Enjoy okay. yourselves. Bye. Bye.
nice and warm in here. Yeah, this place is lovely. So what's everybody having? The usuals? Yeah, cheers. I usually have a I know. She and tea, right? It's not our first time. Guys, did you know that this is where the Potato Farmers Union used to work? Kim, please, enough of the history lesson. I get enough of that at work. I'd like some time off every now and then. Yeah, we are here to have a laugh. Okay, I'm sorry. I just thought that the Potato Farmers Union was interesting. But I feel bad for Sammy for having to stay at the house with the children. Well, somebody's got to do it. I remember when I first started out, I got all the rubbish jobs. It's right of passage. Yeah, we can swap tomorrow night. But guys, we don't have time to go out again tomorrow night. Oh, come on, Kim. We're meant to be having a laugh here. I know we're technically meant to be at work, but we've got to make the best of it. <laughs> Speaking of which, I thought we could bring some fun to this evening. <laughs> what are you thinking? I don't know, rummy, poker. I have never even heard of rummy, and I don't know how to play poker. You don't know how to play poker? Kim. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've just never played poker, okay? What, have you been under a rock or something? Don't give her ideas, Kim would probably enjoy living under a okay, rock. Okay guys, what is with all the making fun of me? I've gone this far in my life without ever playing poker and I'm fine, thank you very much. That's right, Kim, we're only having a laugh here. We can teach you the rules if you like. Well, I thought we could turn it into a drinking game. Make it more interesting. Maybe throw some cash down to up the stakes. <laughs> I'm the driver. So I'll be the dealer. I'm thinking something easy. Are you all lower? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ellen? Lower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> it's okay. going to be a good one tonight, guys. It will be. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Important news bulletin. A police warning has been issued to residents in the Kendall area to take caution after a recent report revealed that several patients from the Saffron Square Hospital for Mental Health have been missing. strong. That was a good one though, no? Mm. We've got the shepherding on Sunday now. I've oh, organised that. What do you do to relax? <laughs> okay. That's a good point, actually. Sorry, we're friendly. We don't mean it in that way, you know? It's all good. It's just so much...
my psychic powers. <laughs> Wait, why is Neil drinking? I thought you only had to drink when you lost a round. Yeah, but I'm still going to drink my beer even if I've won. Otherwise, what's the point of having it? Exactly. I mean, Kim, you should have at least one drink. I already have a drink, Ellen. A proper one that say fruit juice. I'll get you a drink. What'd you like? No, I'm okay, thanks. A glass of rose. No, it's fine. Okay, if you continue to drink like this, we're gonna have to get onto the strip poker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're not driving. Yes, Ellen, but someone has to be responsible when you are stumbling home at 3 a.m. waking everyone up. Whoa, whoa, that's not gonna happen. I'm driving. I am responsible. Exactly. And it's not like we do this often. Have a little bit of fun every once in a while. That's a yes then. <laughs> Glass of rosé coming up. Ooh, nice one, Kim. Hey, 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 come on, keep it down, yeah? you're doing down here? You're meant to be in bed. There's noises in my room. What do you mean? Someone is trying to stare into the window. Don't be silly. It's just the wind. Come on, go back to bed. Come on. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Come on. Oh, and I heard you lot playing with the phone earlier. So no more messing around, okay? <laughs> that wasn't me, miss. Well, it was one of you, so that's enough now, yeah? Someone's lost their key already. I told you, I didn't want you to come back home sober. Oh, um, hi. Sorry, who is this? I work for a children's charity. We are very good for Excuse me? I work for a children's charity. I wondered if you would like to help us. Um, it's a bit of a not time to be calling around. It's late. Can you come back tomorrow? 
but you are not as me. <laughs> I know. Um, listen, thank you, but I'm not interested right now. Uh -huh. Later. No, sorry. Are there children inside? No, there are no children here. <laughs> um, who is this? I've been at the hospital. I wasn't well. I left. Yeah, too early. Do you mean? I was there for you. I shouldn't have left. Can I come in? No, um, I'm sorry that I can't help you. You're gonna have to find some place else, right? Why don't you want to help? It's not that. It's just that um, I, I have some people over and I really need to get back to them. The people who went out earlier? How did you... I Look, um, have a good night. Come back tomorrow. Where are you going? I've got things to do. Um, good night. We're a very good boy. Our charity. Good night. He came up to me after an exam and said, I finished this. And I looked at his paper and he ticked a box for every answer. Why? <laughs> That's what I asked him. I said, why have you filled them all in? And he said, I didn't know most of them. So I thought if I fill them all in, I'm going to get a right. One, two. Uh. <laughs> and I said, yes, but then you put down all the wrong ones too. <laughs> it just doesn't get it. They never listen. Mm. Cynical to say so, but it's true. Ooh. Kim just finished her first one. Ooh. <laughs> hey, you don't even see any tips in Kim. I'm not. I forgot to tell you, she's a heavyweight. Yeah, I, I just don't feel the need to drink. I can have a really good time without having to intoxicate myself. Yeah, but you're only saying that because it takes you so long to get drunk. Yeah, I wonder how many it takes for you to get drunk. Ellen. Uh, Ellen, no. No, Ellen, I forbid you. I'll never glass of no, rosé no, no, Ellen. Hey. <laughs> Yay.
anything yet? No. You are a bloody machine. Okay, I'm getting you another one. No, Ellen. Mm -hmm. No, yep. Ellen. This madness must stop. No, Ellen. Okay. I never would have thought you were a heavyweight, you know. Honestly, that's the last thing I would have thought about you. I would have thought that you would have walked into a room with alcohol. You'd be absolutely slaughtered. <laughs> well, it's the opposite with me. People take one look at me and think that I can withstand gallons. But to be honest with you, after a couple, I'm just gone. <laughs> I know, I've seen. I bet you half my year eight students could drink me under the table. So alas, I am the designated chauffeur. What can you do? Don't tell Ellen, but I am actually feeling a bit. <laughs> I knew it. Just a little bit. So what? You keep saying all that just so we can get free drinks? No, oh my goodness, no. I was hoping that if I told Ellen that the drink just wasn't having an effect, then she would stop buying me more. You're right. You crafty little devil, Miss Notorious. <laughs> What do you want? I'm sorry I alarmed you before. Has there been a power cut in your house? Why? I spoke to the man down the road. He said everyone has lost their power. No, we didn't have a power cut. Are you sure? Yeah. It's a big problem. Perhaps there's someone in the house I could speak to about it. I need to use a phone. No, there's no one here. And our phone is out of use. So you're on your own? Listen. I don't know what it is you want. But please leave us alone. I don't want to speak to you. Such a rude girl. So from that uh -huh. class, we have Bradley, Jamie, um... Oh. <laughs> <gasps> so, these are your favorite students. No, these are my worst ones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ellen, have you been paying any attention? Yes, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> God, you're gonna be an absolute wreck. Let's go again. <laughs> Come on.
what? you want. I know I may not have what the good is, but I have a soul that I have to get. What? Young school girl looked at me with a very distrusting face. It's not nice to look at someone like that. You obviously didn't teach her manners. You should discipline her. Look, I've told you before. There are no children here. And I have been very patient with you up until now. But you need to go away. Just go away. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it was the most embarrassing thing you can imagine. Huh. I kind of wish I hadn't told you now. How would you guys like to know the history of how rosé was invented? Or would I hell? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Um, let's call it a night. Yeah, whatever. I think we're gonna stay for another one. Are you sure? Don't worry, I'll make sure the lady gets home safe. Sure, you'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I think I soured the evening. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Jeff. See ya. I honestly meant it as a joke, you know me. No, but that's just always my role, isn't it? Just the figure of fun. It's not that, Kim. Look, I've been wanting to say this, okay. but just... who's that? Oh, there. What? No, who's that there? Hello? Excuse me, what are you doing?
I can't just sit here. I'm gonna find out. Excuse me? Why are you standing outside my house? This is private property. Miss! Miss? Miss, look at me if I'm speaking to you. There's this woman who's been at the house and she's been terrorizing me all night and I, I'm just, I'm getting really nervous. I don't know if you heard the news, but I think she might be one of the patients that escaped the hospital. And, and that shouldn't be a problem, but some of the stuff she was saying, I just don't think that she's stable at all. She was asking about the kids. I mean, I know. I know they're safe. I've checked on them. But I really need you to come back home. Wait. I hear a car. Is that you guys? Kim? No, come on, we've had enough. No, I'll get, I'll get them. No, we said we're gonna have one more, and we have. I'm gonna get us a cab, you grab your coat. Now. Come on. So forceful. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> such a strong hands. Come on, get your coat. Let's go.
stuff in your hand. Is that? Nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. Are you being naughty? She asked. No, Mummy, I'm not. She didn't believe her. Show me what's in your hand. And what was in her hand? Yes, that's right. Put it under your pillow, she said. And the tooth fairy. <laughs> The girl asked. Stay away from here or I'm calling the police. You hear me? Stay away! Miss, I can hear something. You're still up. Are you okay? I'm so happy. Why, why, why 
What's happened? We have to go. What? Why? I think there's no way out. Are, are you serious? I don't, I don't have time to explain it all. It's, I, there was this woman who was outside and she was trying to get to the kids and I don't know why, but she was doing all of this weird things. I... <laughs> Who is it? It's Kim. She says she's downstairs fixing up the pool line. She's asking if everything's all right. Oh, there you go. See, she must have just been messing around with the phone and forgot to plug it back in. When, when did she come back home? I, when was she downstairs? I didn't see her. Jeff, Jeff, maybe. Jeff's car is outside, so... Well, she says she's downstairs, didn't she? Where is she then? I don't know. She just said downstairs. Hmm. Maybe she went to the basement. There's a basement? Yeah, I was down there earlier. Do you think the phone line is downstairs? I'm not sure, but I'm pretty certain I saw a power supply there. Maybe she's been fiddling around with that. Oh, yes. Sorry, silly me. Yes, that does sound like him. Um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna make sure she's okay. Okay. Kim? You down here? Huh. Neil and Ellen are back now. Um, I'm gonna have him, have them call the police. This is why people don't use landlines anymore. I haven't seen or heard anyone. Have you? I think somebody was here, they're just not here anymore. <laughs> Where is Jeff anyway? <laughs> Jeff? I don't know, probably taking a dump or something. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Are you gonna still call the police? What about the police? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just wait for Sammy and Kim to get back? I'm knackered. Wake me up if you need to. <laughs> Ellen. So, I don't know how much you heard from our conversation earlier, but...
Can you just let me go sleep, please? Oh, go to the countryside with me, never in signal. Your friend can't sleep, but he is watching. Can you answer a question for me? Where are the children? It's all right. I know where. All tucked up in bed. Sound asleep. What have you done with them?
just have to go straight to them. I suppose that's what you want. to get out of here.
open the door. to get this door open, okay? Strength. It's really stiff. You have to push. What happened to you? I managed to escape when the woman went upstairs. But when then I heard the kids down there. Where, where they're not here. It's too late, Sammy. What do you mean? I just heard them in here. I'm so sorry. It's too late. I'm coming to help! Thank you. 
don't worry. They're safe outside. Oh, now.